Okay, so the question I keep on getting asked in the comment sections on Kai Soto videos is, will he ever make the NBA? Or does he have even a chance of making the NBA? Well, in today's video, I am going to be breaking down his footage, and I am going to be explaining why I think he may or may not have a chance of making the NBA. So let's get down, let's check out Kai Soto and what he does so well in the Japan B-League. Because he's actually pretty good. He's a solid player. He's a solid center. Let's get down. Let's check him out. If you want to shoot the basketball better, make sure to go check out my shooting workout. That is down in the description below as well. Okay, so in this first clip, what do we see? Well, we've got Kai Soto way up at the point, and he's going to be setting that screen. After he sets that screen, he attacks that basket nice and hard, and the point guard set him up really well. He set the pass up nice and high, which, of course, is preferred in this situation there's a lot of shorter guys around Kai Soto so he needs to be able to get that ball I used to hate it I was a center when I was young when I was 12 years old I was six feet tall and point guards always just used to pass to my feet I used to hate that so much but he gets that ball he keeps the ball above his head and then he's able to score he's got that nice soft touch however he didn't bring that ball down to his waist he kept it up high and that's exactly what you need to do at any level at all now here Kai Soto gets the ball in the high post and when he gets that ball into that high post right there, he does something that is very smart. He turns towards his left side, which allows his left arm, his left side of his body to be in line much faster to the basket. He's a left-handed shooter. That's going to be a much faster, more accurate shot for him. And he goes straight up. He doesn't think about it. He doesn't make all these trillions of different fakes. And being able to make fast decisions in the high post is going to allow him to score much easier in the NBA. I will tell you that he will be probably guarded by somebody much bigger than this guy in the NBA. Which means that he may have to go for the shot fake there and then attack back down. This guy could help out. That would be a kick out pass for a three. If he's able to do stuff like that at the NBA level, he would be able to make it quite well. He runs the floor quite well too after a defensive stop. He's already down on the other end of the court. Would this be a basket in the NBA? Potentially, depending on the team that they're playing against. If they're playing against the Raptors, the exact same thing would happen right here. But if they were going up against San Antonio or Lakers or somebody with a dominant big who's much bigger and stronger, then potentially that would be probably blocked off the backboard. He would need to clear out space, take a dribble back, and then go up, but then he's already got two guys on him. This guy would be better off out on the perimeter. This would be a kick out pass for a three. That's exactly what I would do. Catching it underneath the backboard at the NBA level, that's not going to be a very good shot. He would need to have somebody out on the perimeter to be able to kick that ball out because he's already collapsed multiple players. And we all know he can pass. So we can see right here, he gets the ball into the high post, quick outlet pass to the corner, and then he cuts off of that pass when his man is driving towards the basket because Kai Soto's man is dropping off, which then means the pass is there for Kai Soto. This guy needs to space the floor a little bit better because if Kai Soto gets it here and this guy dropped off, and if this guy was any taller when he drops off to Kai Soto, this would be a kick out pass to those guys and they would get open three-point shots. But with them inside the key, it's not going to be very beneficial for them. However, Kai Soto was still able to score. We can see that in slow motion right here with that pass right here. If I just wish this guy stayed in the corner, that would have given Kai Soto many more opportunities for assists. Now at the youth level, at least here in Canada, this is most likely going to be called a moving screen because he's moving away while this guy was trying to chase the ball handler, but they never made contact. So it's not a moving screen, but at the youth level, at least in Canada, that would be probably called, even though they made no contact. He's slipping the screen. That's essentially what he's doing and it should be allowed at all levels. And it is allowed at all levels, just comes down to the referee, but he gets this lob pass into the key he gets that ball. This needs to be an alley-oop dunk. And it is. That's going to be an option in the NBA. That's going to happen a lot in the NBA. And he needs to be able to finish at the rim. Also, defensively, he's good. He's pretty solid. He's going to get a lot of blocks. He should be able to get a lot of blocks in the NBA like he does right here. He sends it quite far. He doesn't necessarily need to send it that far. He just gives it to the other team. If he could block that just a bit lighter, it could have went to his teammates. I was actually just teaching one of my... 13U players, which is U14 up here in Canada, this exact same move. So 
off of the screen and roll he is attacking the basket he gets the pass while he's cutting towards the basket he catches it in the mid post takes one dribble spins off and then he's able to go for that little bit of a hook shot this is a fantastic move to be able to learn and definitely is worth learning as well remember hands up on defense always front the high post that's exactly what Kai Soto does right here he did an absolutely fantastic job his team was able to get that ball back and then he ran the court extremely well he was the lead man he kept that ball up nice and high no dribbles after that lead pass fantastic finish I love that play that is probably my favorite play that Kai Soto's done so far and if any of you know who I am and they've seen my games or you've seen my games you know how what how much I love pushing the pace after a defensive stop so that play that last play is obviously my favorite that he's done I love transition baskets as a coach we get any like when I'm a head coach I get anywhere between 18 to like 32 points a game just by a steal, push the ball down, easy layup. But anyways, is Kai Soto able to be an NBA player? Yes, he has the height. He has the skill. Does he have the speed? He's getting there. He's slowly getting there. Get the, get, get the pun. But anyways, he's a fantastic player. I think that he does have a chance. He might have a short career in the NBA. It's going to be a different path for him. Obviously, he's playing in the B League in Japan. However, it's going to be quite interesting to see what he is going to be able to do in his career. He's obviously a fantastic player for Gilas, which is the Filipino national team. So, I hope that you've enjoyed today's video. Hit that like button, subscribe, and I'll see you guys again next time.